What's very interesting about poetry is that when we read old pieces of ours, we remember what we used to be. We remember things that we usually forget about ourselves. For those of you who knew me a couple of years ago, some of you here in the hall did know me a couple of years ago, know that I used to wear the veil, the hijab. And I also used to write. So I used to write about it. Um, and the fact that I'm not wearing it now doesn't change anything. So it's just the poem itself that is interesting. Even I am sometimes, I sometimes wonder when I think about it. So this one's called, I Wore the Veil. I wore the veil, and then so many, so many words were said. I wore the veil, yet I mostly wore these words, and then wrapped them around my head. You see, it is never too easy to act upon a held belief. The earth was, after all, once upon a time, said to be flat. And then so many minds had to think to fight against that. So many had to think, read, and write to disprove that fact. See, we are all misunderstood, whether we do this or that. It is not the addition or the removal of clothing that is the problem, in fact. I wore the veil, and to me, it was a faithful step. To you, it must be a new haircut or a fashionable type of hat. Not a religious statement and not a political act. Because I do not want to hear your words, nor do I want to be stared at. Although, I must confess that in the streets of Brazil, I was slightly overdressed. <laughs> in a country where suits equal swimming suits, I must have looked like a jest. I got people smiling to me and taking pictures with me. Oh well, be my guests. A drunk man actually came and prayed to me. A drunk man actually came and prayed to me, thinking I was Virgin Mary or something, and I pretended to be divine and said, Oh Lord, may you be blessed. <laughs> Yet, I am still so perplexed. I had to question and question in order to fulfill that quest. And yes, we do live in a world where we are judged by what we dress. Yet I wasn't forced to wear it by my father. And please, please stop it with the word oppressed. These stereotypes are old. These stereotypes are old and the world has progressed. So maybe it's time we give it a rest. Maybe it's time we give it a rest and put aside our judgments. Because all I want to do is, in life is to follow this faith and comply with the modesty it requests. See, I am not here to verify nor to manifest. I am neither an Arab uprising nor a revolutionary co conquest. I just want to sleep at night with peace in my chest. I just want to sleep at night with peace in my chest because at the end, after all your words, criticism, and protests, it is I who goes back home at night and lies in my bed alone. After a long day of all this social unrest, my mind starts to float and to rest. This is it, more or less. This is it, more or less. Why call it faith if the whole world is to acquiesce? Thank you.